racing pigeons have long been admired for their exceptional homing abilities and the sport of pigeon racing has captivated enthusiasts around the world. To ensure the success of these remarkable birds and races, a comprehensive training program is essential. In this extended discussion, we will delve deeper into the various aspects of training racing pigeons, emphasizing the importance of physical and mental preparation, training techniques, and the significance of individual flying. Physical fitness plays a crucial role in the performance of racing pigeons. Prior to commencing the training regimen, it is imperative to ensure that the birds possess early physical maturity. This can be achieved by allowing the pigeons to develop their skeletal structure and musculature before engaging them in rigorous training. Adequate rest and a balanced diet are vital during this period to promote healthy growth and overall well-being. In addition to physical maturity, mental ability is equally important for the pigeons to race and home successfully at a young age. This mental acuity is cultivated through training exercises that encourage independent thinking and decision-making. The single toss technique, a pivotal aspect of the training process, facilitates the development of mental maturity and intelligence in racing pigeons. The single tosses begin after the birds have been to a particular location at least twice with the group. This gradual exposure ensures that the birds are familiar with the release site and the general direction of their loft. On the third visit to each location, the birds are single tossed. By releasing each bird separately, approximately 10 minutes apart, the pigeons are compelled to rely on their own homing skills, thereby fostering independence and self-reliance. During single tosses, it is crucial to choose release points that are at least 10 minutes apart. This time interval allows each bird to establish its individual flight pattern and prevents them from waiting for or following other birds. By creating this separation, the pigeons are compelled to navigate on their own, leading to enhanced mental aptitude and self-confidence. Moreover, single tossing helps pigeons become astute leaders rather than mere followers. A racing pigeon must possess the ability to navigate and think independently, making informed decisions during the course of a race. While physical fitness is undoubtedly important, it is the intelligence, confidence, and independent thinking of a pigeon that truly sets it apart on race day. In the early stages of training, short distance tosses of 5 km, 10 km, and 20 km are conducted multiple times a day to provide the birds with frequent exposure and experience. It is often more beneficial to have two 20 km tosses than one at 40 km, as it allows the birds to gain confidence and learn more effectively. Consistency in training routine is essential and it is imperative to maintain a regular schedule for the birds to establish a sense of familiarity and security. While planning training routes, it is advisable to choose locations with distinct and recognizable landmarks that can be easily identified by the birds. Large landmarks act as visual cues, enabling the pigeons to navigate and orient themselves even at great distances. These landmarks serve as reference points, aiding the birds in their homing instincts and enhancing their ability to find their way back to the loft. As the training progresses, the distances covered during tosses gradually increase. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that hunger can have a detrimental effect on the performance and well-being of the birds. Hunger during training or racing leads to memory loss, fatigue, and weight loss, impeding the homing ability of the pigeons. Therefore, before each training toss or race, the birds should always be sent with a full tank of gas, meaning they should be fully fed and watered. Adequate nutrition and hydration are vital to ensure that the pigeons remain in optimal condition and can perform at their best. When the birds start flying in a certain direction, such as south to northeast, it is advisable to adjust the training strategy accordingly. In this scenario, it is likely that the birds will initially head towards the nearest landmass, east, before proceeding north. To adapt to this behavior, single tosses become especially important. Releasing the birds too close together may result in them waiting for one another and flying home as a group, rather than independently. By maintaining the recommended 10-minute interval between releases, the birds are encouraged to rely on their own navigational skills and fly home individually. The training process also extends beyond flying exercises. It is important to simulate real race conditions to familiarize the pigeons with the environment they will encounter on race day. One often overlooked aspect is the birds' interaction with shipping baskets. Birds tend to eat and drink while in the shipping baskets provided by the local club. To prepare them for this experience, successful trainers acquire identical baskets to those used by the club. These baskets are set up with the same feed and water arrangements, placed in the same location, and have an opening similar to the club's crate. By training the birds to eat and drink from these baskets repeatedly before the first race, they become accustomed to the feeding routine, reducing the chances of confusion or stress during basketing. By implementing these various training techniques and ensuring proper mental and physical preparation, pigeons are equipped with the necessary skills to perform exceptionally in races. 
However, it is important to note that successful racing pigeons are not limited to their racing career alone. Those birds that excel in challenging race conditions often become excellent breeders and hold significant value in breeding lofts. These birds showcase traits such as intelligence, orientation, navigating ability, motivation, determination, courage, and heart. Their ability to fly as individuals, covering great distances relying solely on their own instincts, sets them apart as leaders in the flock. It is through the combination of proper education, training, and performance under demanding conditions that racing pigeons prove their worth and contribute to the legacy of their breeders. In conclusion, training racing pigeons is a multifaceted process that involves physical and mental preparation, carefully planned training routines, and the cultivation of independent thinking. Through methods such as single tosses, frequent training, and exposure to familiar landmarks, racing pigeons acquire the skills and attributes necessary to excel in races. Furthermore, simulating real race conditions and preparing the birds for basketing contribute to their overall success. By appreciating the importance of both physical fitness and mental acuity, trainers can unlock the full potential of their racing pigeons and witness their extraordinary abilities in action. Training Routine The training starts about 5 to 10 kilometers away from the loft, gradually increasing the distance to 20 kilometers, 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers, and beyond. At each location, the birds are released two to three times as a group before moving on to single tosses. Single tosses. Single tosses are important for the young bird's education. They teach the bird to think independently and not rely on other birds for navigation. Each bird is released separately, about 10 minutes apart, and must rely on its own homing skills. Physical and mental maturity. It is important for the birds to possess both physical maturity and mental ability to race and home successfully at a young age. Single tossing helps develop mental maturity and intelligence in the birds. Training frequency. Training tosses at short distances, 5 km, 10 km, 20 km, can be conducted 2 to 3 times a day, providing the birds with more experience. Regular feed and water should always be available to the birds. Landmarks. When choosing training locations, look for large landmarks that the birds can remember and see from great distances. This helps them navigate and find their way back home. Hunger and survival. Birds should always be sent to training tosses with a full tank of gas, fully fed, and watered. Hunger during training can cause memory loss, fatigue, weight loss, and affect the bird's homing ability. Independent flying. After reaching a certain distance, 50 kilometers in this case, all training tosses should be single bird tosses. This teaches the birds to fly independently and not rely on other birds. Mental maturity and intelligence. Single tossing helps create mental maturity and intelligence in the birds. It teaches them to navigate and think independently, rather than becoming followers. Preparation for basketing. Birds should be prepared for basketing by using a basket identical to the one used by the local club. This helps them become familiar with the basket, feed, water, release location, and opening before their first race. Training athletes. Breeding and training racing pigeons is similar to training human athletes. It requires athletic ability, proper training, coaching, good diet, health and hygiene habits, rest, routine, and a stress-free environment. Different races. In South Africa, there are various types of races for young and old birds, including classic races. Birds that perform well in these races exhibit intelligence, orientation, navigation ability, motivation, determination, courage, and heart. Successful racers often become excellent breeders. There are many reasons to buy my racing pigeon method. Here are some of the best reasons. You will get excellent results, it's a very simple system to use, it's affordable, I have had over 400 first prize winners, it's adaptable to any situation. You can use it with any racing method, natural, widowhood, young birds, it's a very effective method. There is no need to spend a lot of money on fancy pigeon products, it's a reliable system and it is foolproof to use. Professional athletes, race horses, take the same products, there is science behind this not just hearsay, it is all to do with red blood cells and oxygen in the blood, without that a pigeon will not race well, or an athlete will not win a race, if he has low oxygen in his blood, the above is fact and is 100% science. There are a few things you can do to improve your chances of winning at racing pigeons. One of the most important things is to learn as much as you can about the sport. You'll need to know the different types of pigeons, how to train them, and how to race them. Another key factor is practice. You'll need to be able to fly your pigeons competently in order to win races. And, of course, you'll need to have the funds to invest in racing pigeons and other racing equipment.